Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your amazing host. So if you've been keeping up with my day today, I'm uploading a bunch of little shorts and a bunch of little videos and stuff, uh, just kind of along the way, just for the heck of it, why not? Uh, today is my deadlift day slash extra little bicep day. Um, also, it's my cheat day. I get to enjoy some foods that I might not get to enjoy uh, through the rest of the week. So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bicep workout and get it out the way and then do my deads probably around uh, four o'clock this afternoon. And uh, that gives me a little time in between to rest and just do a few things if I need to do something around the house. I'm not gonna do anything around the house. I Oh, maybe I will. I'll do some clothes. Anyway, today we're going to do the TENS therapy machine again. Uh, if you've kept up with my videos, you know I've done these a couple of times now on my arms. My left arm is my worst arm. As far as this part goes, this shoulder is a little worse than this shoulder. But this arm here is a little bit worse. Plus my bicep is smaller. I've got tendonitis or tennis elbow or something going on here and uh, it's really painful and it's hard for me to get a good bicep workout in. The theory behind these is just to kind of pump the muscle up, the soft tissues up while you're working out and uh, in hopes to kind of maybe break up some scar tissue and uh, get the blood flowing a little better and the oxygen flowing a little better and all that good stuff. That's kind of the theory behind using these for working out. Now the Typically, these things are used for like muscle relaxations and different things like that uh, that you might see at a chiropractor's office or something along those lines. And uh, that's initially why I got it was to put it on my back and use it and kind of help myself out a little bit. Does it help? I don't know, but it's interesting. So, and also with the arm, does it help? I don't know. It's interesting. So it doesn't hurt to try things and uh, you never know what will happen. I might work out and my arm might feel amazing. So who knows? So I'm going to get these hooked up. Uh, this time I'm going to use them only on my uh, forearm. Put one here. Kind of get it stuck there. I do have a homemade apparatus that's going to hold these on a little better. I'll show you the homemade apparatus. Apparatus. And I'll put this one down here. I don't think I've ever even tried one on the bottom part of my arm, so. It's good if you can kind of warm these up a little bit. It helps to stick a little bit, a little bit better. Just a second. I was thinking last night, or I guess last night, uh, what can I do to help hold these things on? I typically will wrap some tape around them, but that ends up being just kind of a mess, and sometimes the tape, break, uh, the tape breaks and that. And then I thought, well, I can go to the store and look for some straps, some elastic straps or some arm sleeves or something like that. And then I thought, Michael, you're a cheap SOB. Let's cut a sock and see if a sock will work on here. I'm not even tried it yet. I just cut the sock and uh, just now trying it. It's all real time with my family here. So we're gonna see how it works. See if it works. Oh, I gotta get the, I gotta get the little wires in there. I didn't think of that. Might have to make a hole in the sock to feed the wires in. We'll see, guys. It's all a learning process when you're doing weird stuff like this, so. I'm just looking for something that'll kind of help hold these on a little bit. Yeah, that actually works pretty good. I know it's not pretty. It's not all pretty ditty, but we're not in this for pretty. We're in this for functionality and budget, you know? 
Maybe that'll work. Feels pretty secure. So, uh, as far as today's workout goes, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for the arms, for the bicep. Uh, what do I want? Do I want need? I'm a little nervous. I bet that's gonna really jerk my arm around. I've never had it on, ooh. <laughs> I've never had it on both sides of my um, forearm before. Let me go to a different setting. Oh, he smokes in the morning. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll use it right there. Ugh. Okay, holy cow, okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna do pretty good. Um, the little sock idea, that'll help hold the pads on <laughs> nice and firm. So let me figure out what I'm gonna do and then uh, we'll, we'll uh, start our little workout from there. I hope you guys are interested in this kind of stuff. I think it's kind of neat to kind of open your mind up and kind of do weird stuff, so. Anyway, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with my biceps while this kind of works its magic ahead of time. Stick around, guys. All right, guys. So my movement that I've chosen for today, like I said, I keep it simple on Saturdays whenever I do my bicep. Um, we're just going to stick with the easy bar curl. This is going to be set number one. My TENS therapy machine is still going. Shocking the heck out of me. And uh, we're just going to get a few sets of these and uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. All right. Now, the reason they have to go so slow, which going slow is okay anyway, actually, but this thing pulses uh, instead of having, I can't, I, there's not a setting that's just a constant, you know, shock, for lack of better words. Um, so uh, everything has some kind of a pulse to it. So I'm trying, I have to try and time my squeeze with the curls with the pulse of the machine. So I get kind of the benefit of squeezing that muscle and uh, the pulse going off and hopefully, you know, helping to open up and work those soft tissues. So anyway, this is just kind of a quick video on this. I'm not gonna bore you with multiple sets of that. Just something kind of interesting I wanna throw out there to you. Open your mind to, to new things and uh, you can use these things. Uh, they have bigger machines with more pads and more settings and all kinds of stuff. I just have a little cheap handheld kind. That's what she said. And, uh, uh, you know, you can go and get them and try them out. You can put them on your legs, your back, shoulders, everywhere. And, and uh, do that while you're working out. And uh, experiment with stuff. Why not? It's interesting. You know, it might help. So, anyway, I'm going to get done with my little uh, arm workout for today and then later today we'll do deads and uh, I might do a video on that as well along with more videos of uh, the foods that I'm eating on my cheat day it's too bad that YouTube won't let me upload just like pictures and stuff but uh, whatever you know we'll do some quick little videos so anyway like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beatdown uh, where we do things like this all right Oh goodness, where we do things like that. 
And uh, don't forget, get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the Body Beat Down. <laughs> Oh, I'm shocked. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!